Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how we can analyze a box plot. But first, let us understand what is a box plot. A box plot, as we know, is one of the inbuilt charts in Tableau Desktop. The box plot is used to determine the distribution of the data along an axis. Let us now see a scenario where we might use a box plot. This worksheet displays the profit of different categories across the states. Since the data has a large volume, we cannot distinguish between the highest or the lowest profit in the densely populated data. Now, with the help of a box plot, let's do the same analysis. Go to a new worksheet, select the category State and Profit Fields, Navigate to show me and select the box plot chart. With this, you have the data represented in a form of a box plot displaying the categorical sales with the states in details marks card. To have a more precise analysis, let's swap the fields by clicking on the swap icon from the toolbar. Drag and drop the state's dimension from the detail marks card to the rows before the category dimension. In this view, we can see the total of the entire categorical profit by sales. To divide it in different intervals, navigate to the analysis option in the menu bar and deselect the aggregate measure option. To make the data look more readable, let's add the state dimension to the filter shelf. From the window, navigate to the None option and select it. Now, select the Alabama and Arizona state. Click Apply and OK. Now change the display to Entire View. To format the box plot further, right-click on the box and select Format. From this option, we can change the display style with the fill color, border and whisker. Let us format the data points from the marks card in the similar manner. With that, a final plot is ready. Now, let us analyze the various summary points in the box plot. In the view, there are several data points that are plotted outside the box. These are known as the outliers. The outlier is basically the extreme values in the data points. Moving on, we have the upper whisker, which is nothing but the highest value in a data set. Then we have Q3, which is the middle value of the second half of the data set. This is the median, which is the middle value in the data set. Next, we have Q1, which is the middle value of the first half of the data set. Like the upper whisker, we have the lower whisker, which shows the minimum value of the data. Now, if I hover over another box plot, which is that of the state Arizona and category furniture, we can see an outlier with the negative value. But depending upon our requirement, we can also customize the length of the whisker in Tableau. Right click on the box, select Edit. Under Plot Options, click on the drop down beside Whiskers Extend To and change it to Maximum Extent of the Data. By default, the length of the whisker is always set to 1.5 times the interquartile range. If you look into the background, you would find that there are no more outliers and the whiskers have been extended to be plotted till the outlier. We hope you have learned how to analyze a box plot and would be able to do it on your own at your workplace. Thank you for watching this video. This video was brought to you by Nice Software Solutions.